here is the most difficult questions in paper 2017, paper 2. And that is about some coordinates and also in center of a triangle. So uh, we just simply draw the graph. They say that both P and Q is positive. So point P, P0. P is somewhere here. And then this is point P. And also uh, there is a point Q, 0, Q. So the height here is Q. And then what they say is the in center of this uh, circle together with origin OPQ. And then the in center, they say that the in center line on the straight line. In center of a triangle, that means for a inscribed circle. And then this center is called in center. Line on a line 3x plus 4y equal to 3p. So if they try to give you some constraint. But the key point is you have to find out the relation of this center and then together with p and q. One thing very important is the tangent perpendicular to radius. Which means that this part is a square. If this is radius r, that means the coordinate of the center is r r. Therefore, because we know that r r lies on 3x plus 4y equal to 3p, so we can find out some connection between the radius and r. 3r plus 4r is equal to 3p. 7r is equal to 3p. r is equal to 3 over 7 times of p. Which means that we know r, this part, is 3 over 7 times of p. Therefore, the rest is 4 over 7 times p. Their ratio is 3 to 4. And then our target is to find out P to Q. We are not going to find out P, not finding Q, but we are finding the ratio together. So our first mission is connect P and Q together in one equation. And then the method we are going to use is by using the property of tangent from exterior point. Tangent from exterior point tells us that if there is a tangent from exterior point, and we connect a line from the intercept point of those tangent and to the center. We know that this triangle, this right angle triangle, and also this right angle triangle are congruent, which means that this line is the angle bisector of this angle. At the same time, this section are exactly the same as another side. They are symmetric. That's why this section is 4 over 7p also. Afterward, we focus on q. This is 3 over 7p, which means that the rest is q minus 3 over 7p. By using similar reason, we know that another section, this is q minus 3 over 7p. That means by using the length we can con we can express PQ. Together with the distance formula, we can also use square root P square plus Q square to express the sum of these two items. That's why we can form an equation. Now I'm going to write that down. PQ is equal to PQ. P square plus Q square. This part by using the tangent from exterior point uh, property. And this part is by the distance formula. I don't want square root, so both sides square. And then this is quadratic, that's why we group everything to one side. 48 over 49p squared. 
minus 2 over 7 pq. And then finally, we move q square. To solve this, we are going to extract p. So by zero product rule, p equal to zero, or the another factor equal to zero. This is rejected. It's because r p is positive, and then both sides times forty nine. So p over q is equal to fourteen over forty eight. Simplify. We get 7 over 24. The answer is D. In this question, they require you have a very clear mind about the in center. Uh, what is the meaning that line on the straight line? And also, you need to find out the center related to the coordinates. And also, by the property of tangent, which is tangent from exterior point property, so that we can connect them. And also, we can also express in terms of uh, function distance formula. So this is really uh, difficult questions and they test everything together.